even after that first deployment, I still came home very angry, very aggressive. My insomnia was terrible. My dreams were completely off. I woke up in fear. But that made me also think that I needed to be at war in order to feel normal. That I needed to be in a combat zone in order to, to feel as if I had a sense of purpose. When I left the military in 2012, I left with a, a sense of, of, of fear, deep, deep-rooted fear. That I had no idea what I was going to do with the rest of my life. So a couple of years ago, in the movie Crested Butte, I was searching. I was searching for answers as to what was next for me and how I could continue to serve. I decided at that point I needed to learn something new to help drive me forward and propel me into the next stage of life. I also became fairly obsessed with research relating to people's happiness in nature. I needed something to reset me. So Steve actually emailed me. Steve sent me a random email, um, and then he came here. We met in my office. He started talking to me about his ideas, and you know, it was like, man, I'm, I'm reinvigorated. I was actually frothing at the bit when I met Steve. Like, oh man, this, is, this could be legit research. Um, we could probably find funding long term to make this grow, and, and who knows what we'll find. And I started to realize that while there is a decent body of work available for people to reference, there are still some gaps. Gaps in the science of looking at stress and how stress levels change when we are in potentially austere environments. I realized I could dig deeper. Little old me, just going to school on my GI Bill. And so, I started looking at opportunities to conduct quantifiable research and it seemed through the literature that looking for neurotransmitters in saliva, urine, and then blood and trying to find out what is going on in our wildly different and unique brains. You know what's led me here today is been the discovery for myself that, for me, the prescription for appropriate self-care, it all surrounds nature. It surrounds engaging my environment. It involves breathing in the air as far away from a city as possible. The one constant, over and over, is the wild. 